Right here in West Los Angeles, and Eric, now this is the, actually this is the first opening in Los Angeles for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first one here. I've I've been here for um, quite some time now. I came here in '96, and I've always wanted a, a gallery here. But it's the second um, gallery opening for me. I would call this a higher end sequel to the gallery in Maui. Now the crowd here in Southern California is probably a little bit different than the Maui crowd. Maybe not quite as relaxed. Oh no, definitely not. You've got the busy street of Sepulveda here with everyone whizzing by, and everyone, of course, is uh, very relaxed and on vacation. Um, usually, there are some locals there, but um, you know, ninety percent is uh, people from all over the world really all there to have a good time is very multicultural and it's uh, because it works out very well because nature is so universal and art is universal and we're trying to combine the two uh, and I, I heard somewhere that Los Angeles is um, the most integrated city with uh, nature in the United States and um, uh, I do live in the canyon so I can appreciate that and uh, it's a lot easier to see how nature uh, comes together with, with art in Maui, at least it does for me. Uh, but I think that's more of a, a challenge in other cities, but I think Los Angeles is a great place to start for that. I noticed in one of the, in your paintings, actually they are paintings, right? Because they almost look like photographs in some of them, almost like a zebra chrome? Yes. Uh, well, you know, that's because it is based on uh, different uh, images that come together. I, I look at actual uh, plants, but I also um, take photographs and gather images, uh, choosing the best, you know, leaf from this one and the best angle from that one and combining them together uh, to make, you know, uh, a piece of art. Yeah, I notice a lot of the colors are extremely vivid. There's a lot of pinks and greens. Well, I guess that kind of goes with plants anyway, with brights. Yeah. What, what is your inspiration behind a lot of them? Well, you know, um, it's kind of a, a logical process, actually. It, it might not be as, as glamorous of an answer, but, um, you know, when I broke away from my old style of surrealism, I would pretty much call it, um, I, st I, I recognized tertiaries as kind of a, um, a uh, uh, ignored uh, set of colors. So after the tertiaries, which are sets of browns, um, then I figured the other set of colors, this more ignored, the e much more than primaries, which are very popular, is the secondaries. And there you have your violets and oranges and um, greens, lime greens. And uh, I, I, I find that succulents and cacti and orchids are the best, or seashells sometimes, are the best um, vehicles to express those colors. Now, if you were to describe your artwork to somebody that's not familiar with it and couldn't see, how would you describe it? Hmm. I would describe it as very three-dimensional. I would describe it as uh, multi-layered, uh, very much straight to the point, and, and it's really philosophical because art is used to get to a conversation, and um, a conversation can be had with anyone with any disability. Now, who would you describe as some of your greatest influencers in creating your art? I thought I might get that question. Um, you know, I don't usually choose a lot of um, contemporary artists to, to, to uh, you know, um, talk about who I'm influenced by because it really comes from the, the old school of surrealism from the 30s and 40s that, that got me on the track to where I am because um, most of the art out there I, I don't uh, it's just not for me um, however there are a few uh, really good painters that I appreciate I guess that are still alive like Vija Selmans um, you know so um, uh, mostly I look at, at, at the older art and uh, uh, just try to go from there how has technology influenced your art well, um, every few years they, they do come up with new chemicals and new solutions to um, enhance the varnishes and um, things like that, 
Well, that's that. That would be the medium side of the technology. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, when I'm trying to connect this all to business and stuff, certainly the internet, as the, as obvious, websites, getting stuff out there, emails, even communication, cell phones. I mean, <laughs> I you know, need I go on? These these are really uh, pretty new technologies that are you know. Uh, got me to where I am now, or at least in getting getting me on my way somewhere. If there's something you would love to share with people about your work or about you as an artist, what would you like to tell them? Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, uh, I I would just say that um, I you know love having conversations with with uh, all types of people because I know how to. Um, uh, incorporate um, the art conversation or sometimes just the fractal conversation which is even broader so um, that's that's really much pretty much um, what I'm all about is the general generalities and um, broad topics so uh, I'm not very uh, keen on um, you know uh, 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 social uh, 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 I guess um, celebrity Hollywood culture. I guess you would call it. Uh, but you know, I like to talk about politics and stuff like that too. If you had a dream as to where your art would be, where would it be? Uh, well, uh, certainly. I mean, this is pretty much as close as as I think I'm going to get to. Um, uh, what I have envisioned so far in terms of how can I bring what I've done so far to you know package it in this one space um, so um, you know from here is kind of a fresh start I'm I, I don't I'm not holding on to, to anything really it's kind of um, I'm putting it all out there right now and you know whatever comes after this is um, anyone's guess Congratulations on the opening of your gallery. And if people would like to find out more information about your gallery and your artwork, where is the best place to go on the internet? www.thefractalgallery.com. Uh, you can also go to bomod.com, and there'll be some more uh, pieces in there that um, are, are not by me, but are also featured here in the Fractal Gallery. Oh, Bomod, that's B O H M O D stands for Bohemian Modern. Thank you.